how to test playbooks. So in Exabeam, we allow you to test the playbooks in uh, multiple different ways to validate the actions and the overall playbook logic is correct and will work when you want to run it on demand during an incident or set those playbook triggers to automatically run. So first and foremost, within the playbook editor itself, we have various validation checks. So you can actually see across all of my playbooks here, I have a few playbooks that say playbooks contain errors. And this means that I can't even enable these playbooks to run because they contain some kind of an error. Uh, so right away, we're doing a lot of validation during the playbook creation process here to make sure that if a playbook has an error, that we make that apparent to the customer. So you can actually see here why this is an error. You're actually going to see the particular action that is read. Um, and we'll give you various different visibility here into why this is read, right? I don't have a service selected and this particular action. Another example here would be if I go into my demo playbook and let's just say I delete my final link to the end of this particular playbook. So now again, you can see why it's red. This action doesn't connect here. If I go ahead and save it, not only will it tell me, yes, it's successfully saved, but it's not runnable. Please correct these particular errors. If I close this and I go back out, now I can see my demo playbook red. I can enable it. I can come back in. Let me go ahead and just make that final connection, save it. Okay, now it's savable and runnable. I can close that, come back, and if I wanted to, I can turn this uh, playbook on and off because now it is actually runnable. So first, there's a lot of validation just in the playbook creation process to make sure that uh, everything works properly and you have a fully functional playbook uh, before we can even enable it. Now, once I have the playbooks built and they have the validation, I have them enabled uh, in the platform, one of the things I can do is simply create a net new incident. So here I actually created a manual incident. So you can see manually created, I'm classifying it as malware, and I basically just uploaded the iCar file. And then from here, I can go into my workbench, I can click my run playbook, and I'm gonna go ahead and just run my turnkey malware playbook. I can go ahead and launch that, and we'll see here, we give visibility into every single action that runs and the playbook itself. Uh, so I can come into the playbook, it's green. If there were any issues with it, it'd have a red icon here. I could click on it and get details. And then I can even see down to the individual actions. So if the playbook itself successfully completed all the way, but I had a problem with one of my actions, we would give that insight as well. So it's very easy here to both test the playbook from a validation of the logic and make sure that I have all of the services and integrations. Uh, and then also test playbooks here uh, like this, where I can actually run this playbook. We can also reset the cards here. So if I wanted to uh, modify the playbook, I can hit reset and I can run the playbook again uh, and validate the output. And then when I'm done with this case, I can go ahead and just close this case out. So various different ways here to validate and test your playbooks so that you can make sure that they're ready when you have an incident or a real threat, that your playbooks are gonna accurately run and provide the outcome that you're expecting.